software. Gain access to a system to steal sensitive information or data or causing damage to software present in the system. Spam and phishing scam. Spam, unwanted emails and messages. Phishing, offering bait so that you take it and give out the information they want. Fraud and identity theft. A criminal accesses data about a person's bank account, credit cards, social security, debit card and other sensitive information to siphon money or to buy things online in the victim's name. Piracy Violation of copyrights committed when downloading music, movies, games and software. Illegal downloading. Hacking a person's computer is broken into so that his personal or sensitive information can be accessed. Use antivirus software. A class of program that will prevent, detect and remediate malware infections on individual computing devices and IT systems. Insert firewalls. A network security system, either hardware or software based, that controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on the set of rules. Add pop-up blocker. A program that prevents pop-ups from displaying in a user's web browser. Pop-up blockers work in a number of ways. Some close the window before it appears. Some disable the command that calls the pop-up. Uninstall unnecessary software. Potentially unwanted program is a program that may be unwanted, despite the possibility that user is consented to download it. It includes spyware, inware, and dialers, and are often downloaded in conjunction with the program that the user wants. Maintain backup. An information technology, a backup, or the process of backing up, refers to the copying and archiving of computer data so it may be used to restore the original after a data loss event. Open attachments carefully. Sometimes the attachment carries along a number of malicious software with it, aims to break into the user's computer that does not have tight security. <laughs> <laughs> 